This is really awesome. Welcome back to Rick's Random Retro, where we're totally doomed. When you think of playing Doom, you might think of it more like this. We're playing on a 46, you know, original hardware and a CRT and the whole kit and caboodle. Well, there are many different modern engines that allow you to play the game on current hardware. And one such is PR Boom, and most recently modder named Sultan T decided to add ray tracing to this engine. And that makes a big difference in how Doom is presented, the atmosphere and everything with the game. How much of a difference is it? Take a look at this and I think you'll see what I mean. As you can tell, it's quite a big difference from the vanilla Doom experience. Ray tracing just adds an entire new layer and dimension to the game. The cool thing with the ray tracing is that each light source is producing its own light versus being pre-baked. So you get a much more natural lit environment. You know, different color lights produce different colors. You have reflections off materials based on what the material is made of. Things like that. It makes a big, big difference, I think, in how the game is presented. I mean, you can really tell the atmosphere is completely changed, especially in some of these darker areas. Now, it does require an NVIDIA GPU using their special cores at the moment, so uh, right now you cannot use an AMD GPU for this particular mod. Uh, but let's take a look at some before and after, and you'll really see the difference in each scene. Taking a look at the first room here in the base game, I think this room has a pretty good atmosphere already, but once you add in ray tracing, boy does it change. You can see the floor is now reflecting uh, lights as you expect it to based on the material. The barrel is producing a green glow, and overall, the atmosphere at the scene is completely changed. Another room I think is pretty well lit in the base game, but you may notice there's a blue wall in the background. Add in ray tracing, and that same blue wall is now producing an actual blue light. That blue light is balancing and scattering across the different surfaces in the scene. It really goes to show, even in a well-lit room, ray tracing can make a big difference. Next, taking a look at a much darker room with some water texture on here as well. Once you add ray tracing, it really sets the mood in a completely different level. Now, it might be a little bit too dark, but again, you're only seeing the light that's produced by the available light sources, so the scene is naturally dark. I think it looks a lot more realistic, or as realistic as classic Doom can look. In this scene, what appears to be a pretty well-lit room changes dramatically when you add ray tracing. Because think about this way, there is no actual light source in this room except, well, the toxic waste. So you get a green glow, again highlighting the difference you can really see in some of these rooms that don't have obvious light sources.
Now, since PR Boom is a modern port that allows you to play Doom on current hardware, you can play it in ultra wide as well. As you can see here, with my 3060 Ti, I'm able to produce and run this game just fine on ultra wide resolutions, which looks a little bit silly, but you know, we like retro here, so instead of playing on a modern ultra wide display, let's switch to something a little older. And that means, of course, playing on a CRT. Playing a Doom Classic like this with ray tracing enable works phenomenally well on a CRT. And you get these deep, rich blacks and very vivid colors, which are a little hard to show on camera for sure. But overall, it feels like the original Doom experience just enhanced and amplified. And I'm all for that. It's actually one of my favorite things to do is to take uh, modern games with ray tracing or take older games with ray tracing injected into them and play on a CRT, and it works just really well. All you really need is a VGA adapter that goes from your HDMI port on your modern video card, and that's pretty much it. Just set it as your primary monitor and play your game, and it will automatically display it on your CRT. It works a treat. Big thumbs up. Now then, is the ray tracing implementation in this mod flawless? No, not quite. Although there are patches being released constantly here now, in this case here the bloom effect is just over the top, but that was corrected in a later patch, so there's that. You can also set the bloom effect to be exaggerated, which creates kind of like unhinged neon wonderland that's a little over the top, but the option's there should you want it. In another case, we have a door here where you can kind of see the illumination point uh, being reflected directly, and I don't think that's something we should be able to see here. This doesn't always show up, but it stands out a little bit here now, but again, we'll just wait for patches and see what comes out of that. Now, as far as options go, there are a few settings you can change, such as the uh, render resolution, if you want to use AMD's FSR upscaling technology or DLSS. But beyond that, there isn't a whole heck of a lot to change. You can change the bloom settings and a few other things as well, but the actual game engine of PR Boom does have more settings, but none really related to ray tracing that we see here. So really, you should just be able to set it and forget it. To get a setup to run Doom with ray tracing, it's pretty simple. Just go to the GitHub page I have linked in the description below that goes to Sultan T's page that has step-by-step -step instructions. In general, you pretty much just get the download, unzip it, drop your doom.wav file in, and you're good to go. Now you can play. Look at the uh, GitHub page for detailed instructions, but it really is a cinch to get set up. I really have to commend the modder Sultan T here. Adding in ray tracing to Doom just takes the experience of the game to a whole nother level. While the atmosphere has also been pretty good in this game, just not knowing quite what's in those shadowy corners while you hear the noises from the demons coming after you, it just, it's hard to describe exactly, but it really fits the game very, very well. I'm already a big fan of adding ray tracing to games like this that have kind of like, you know, what I would call simple geometry. It works really well, just like Quake 2 RTX did. So here, it just takes the game to, well, again, the next level. So much fun to play, and it fits it so well. So thanks again for adding this. I can't wait to see what other games we might see with mods like this, where ray tracing can be crammed into a game that was never designed for it, for our enjoyment. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my other ones, including one where I live streamed in medieval using ray tracing on a 4x3 monitor, of course. Otherwise, you can find me on social media and on my website, rickstrandretro.com, and also live streaming on Thursdays at 8.45 p.m. Central. Thanks for watching.